Hello YouTube, this is my second video for today. I hope I can upload it today, but yeah. This is about uh, how Voodoo 2SLI works and shit like that. First off, on the Voodoo, this is an overview of the Voodoo. You got three GPUs. This is one, two, three. So these all handle graphics differently than each other, I think. So I don't really have any bigger idea about that, but the memories are at 100 megahertz each, not a whopping speed, but they do the job. The SLI connector, I think I mentioned before, is a floppy cable connector, like on a floppy drive. There's a lot of people that actually thought this was a floppy drive connector and connected up a floppy drive to the graphics card and um, no clue what happened but I don't think that was very really good for the graphics card so yeah then we move on to how the graphics card works this is only a uh, 3D accelerator this is not a complete graphics card. This accelerates the 3D graphics. This uses two ports, one in and one out. You have to have one more graphics card, like my graphics card in this computer, the Dell. I got a GeForce 3 Titanium 200, I think. I don't know. Hmm, I think it was a 200. But, yeah. So, really, this card only does 3D graphics. This cannot render 2D, although I was told there is a driver for the card on Linux boxes that allows you to render 2D from this card, but I would doubt that works on a card like this because a uh, computer are not able to boot without a graphics card or anything. If you get a computer to boot without a graphics card, you are very lucky. I was lucky with my router that my router booted without a graphics card, but far from every computer has that feature that you can turn off the halt on boot here or whatever. So that is one thing. The thing how this works when it's rendered to the graphics, I think, is that it actually tricks the card it's 3D because they render a flat 2D like panel or something. Then they just render the 3D uh, graphics on top of that, the text and stuff. You just render that in 3D. I think that is how they managed to do that. But yeah, let's move on again to how the SLI is set up. You have one SLI cable, like this cable. You can see this is the hole side and this is the pin side of this. Moving on, this is a pre installed SLI rig. This uses a GeForce 4 MX440, just like that card, but this is without the uh, composite out. Over here, you got the Voodoo cards. Like you can see, the bottom card does not have any cables attached to it. That is because that card won't render any graphics. The graphics go through this card and down to the other card, the top one, this card. And the card down here is attached by the SLI cable and does not need any monitor cables or pass-through cables. This is a computer I actually owned before and owns right now, but it's old. 
1.3 gigahertz very old this is another SLI rig I got standing around just in case my primary dies on me uses the inbuilt graphics to put out to the voodoo's so that's a quite nice rig, SCSI card down there network card sound, it's a live card this is the extension for the live card and yeah, that's about it so on uh, Windows XP it doesn't allow you to render any uh, graphics through OpenGL or Direct3D without hacking the drivers. If you have hacked drivers like I have on my XP box, you can run most games, not all games, most games. Because some games actually don't work with the hacked driver, like Blue Shift didn't work. So that I have to run on my computer over there. So I have to install Windows Millennium Edition on that. The computer came with Millennium Edition, so I got all the drivers and shit for Millennium Edition. But I thought this might be a good way to point out things. Also, the SLI bridge has a twist in the center four wires that makes it work. I have no idea why they used a twist in the center four wires, but yeah, I guess they did that to prevent users from making their own wires. Again, this is a dead card. I didn't want to use a working card to show this. So this is a dead card again that's why I handle the card somewhat roughly so yeah I got one in my other machine at 12 megs the bottom one in this machine is also 12 megs so I will pair those together and hopefully get 24 megs of will you ram this only has 16 megs so if I get 24 by that I will swap the cards and upgrade my XP box. Also, I will be making a lot of videos on this. The XP box is actually better on running newer games on Voodoo's and the 9X editions like 98, 95, Millennium Edition and stuff like that renders older games a lot better. So, yeah. I hope you like my videos about how Voodoo SLI works and what is good and what is bad with Voodoo SLI. I haven't really no experience with the newer Voodoo's like Voodoo 5 and Voodoo 4. But I do have one Voodoo 3 card. So, yeah. Please subscribe if you like my videos. Don't forget to rate them. And take care everyone. Bye y'all.